This is tutorial number two. We will be discussing artwork input, which includes locating artwork, sending artwork and general housekeeping. The location of the artwork will be indicated by the rep or the PA on the flap of the job ticket. These instructions will indicate one of the following. Saved on PDO or CC, uploaded via Insight, email attachment, we transfer our Dropbox link sent, uploaded to the FTP site, CD, DVD, flash drive or hard drive inside the ticket. Via Insight, you can launch, launch a workshop, type in your username and password, Click on the pre-jobs tab, type in the job number, double click on the job um, that you want to have access to, you can either do all the necessary pre-press checks via the input files or alternatively when you need to make changes you can drag and drop these files where you desire like so you'll have access to them on your computer okay let's look at the next one when files have been emailed to you as an attachment, open Outlook and locate the mail. It would have been sent to you using the ticket number as the subject, for example 84088. So you can also go on in the search tab and just look for the job ticket number. If you've located the email, you can just click on it, right click, save as and again save it where you need it to be. When a WeTransfer link has been sent, open your Outlook and locate the mail again containing the WeTransfer link. So let's say it's that one. You will click on Get Your Files, then click on Download. You will see in the tab below what the progress of the job is, how far it's been downloaded and how long, what time still remaining. After it's been downloaded successfully, it will be located in your downloads folder right thing as a zipped file when a Dropbox link has been sent to you, you once again you can go to your Outlook you can go to the Dropbox mail you can click on view file You can then click on the download button. It'll once again show you the download in the, the tab below and also show you when it's completed. And you will be able to locate it once again in your downloads folder. There it is. Uh, when a client has used our FTP site to upload um, artwork, you can open your file browser and type in ftp.businessprint.co.za press enter the username and password is the username is bpint1 everything in capital letters and the password is q capital letter 7 f capital letter 2 j capital letter 6 you can enter there the artwork will be saved in 
the folder communicated to you by the rep. Please note that when you cannot find the artwork um, that you're looking for, try searching inside the general folder. So if you just go here and type in general, um, then you will most probably be able to allocate it here if you can just allocate it on the main page. And once again, it is as easy as dragging and dropping. So I'll just drag this and drop it there and it will download to my PC. When artwork has been supplied using DVD, CD, flash or hard drive, insert it into your computer. Go to this or my computer. Locate the drive or the CD that you want to access. And copy and paste or once again just drag and drop the files onto your computer. Let's discuss housekeeping before we move on to sending files. Um, housekeeping is the method in which we save our, our artwork and files submitted for prepress. Let's say for example that we are copying files from BDO C share like I've showed you, video CC, marketing, rep, job number, we would drag and drop these files into our general job fol folder located on our desktops. So now my general Rochelle jobs folder, I could just search for 82662 and it will be in there. When opening the folder containing the files, it is best practice to first create a folder named supplied files. Drop all the supplied files into the supplied folder. When pre-flighting is done, it is important to no, uh, not override the supplied files as we may need them in future in case we make a mistake or if an error occurs later in the process. Therefore, when we save the file after we are done with the checks and fix-ups, we will save the file as like so. So we'll say file, save as, we will locate the job folder, and we will use the naming convention, the job ticket number, underscore, and the description. Uh, this way, we separate the supplied files from the files submitted to print. So, in the auto for supplied files, in years, all our submission to print files. When new artwork has been supplied, create an old and a new artwork folder in the supplied files. So, let's say for instance, these are old artwork and let's say this is the newest file we got we'll copy that into the new artwork but once we've checked that again we will resave that again in here only keep the latest files in the new artwork folder and only keep your latest file submitted for print or proofing in the job folder. This is to avoid confusion, especially when another operator needs to work on a job that you have done, but might be unavailable when new files have been submitted. Also note that we need to follow the following naming convention method. 
When saving Autic, the original file supplied would be called the job ticket number underscore description or say the business court name like this, 82662 business court Percy. Um, when artwork is submitted a second time, we would use the naming convention also A2662 BP Business Court Percy, but we'll call it RR. When it's been supplied for a third time, we would then call it 3R. A third time it'll be called 4R and so on. Don't use RRRRR. Next, I'll show you how to send Autoc via email, WeTransfer, and Dropbox. When you need to email Autoc to a rep PA or client, simply open Outlook, click New Mail, enter the email address of the recipient, enter the subject line using the job ticket number underscore the client name as well as a brief description Insert the file by clicking Attach File. Locate the artwork. Click on the Insert button. And you can type a brief message if needed. And hit Send. When a file is too big in size to email or converting the PDF to lorries is not an option, we can use either WeTransfer or Dropbox to send files to the rep, the PA and or the client. Go to your internet browser then just type in WeTransfer Click on the WeTransfer site. Click on the icon, the plus icon indicating add your files. Locate your files on your PC. Press open. Put in the email address of the recipient. Type in your own email address. It's located here. Type in a message if you require and hit transfer we transfer will show the progress of the upload um, and when it has been completed successfully or complete um, successfully uploaded a verification mail will also be sent um, indicating that it has been successfully sent and when it has been downloaded by the relevant party To send Dropbox files, we will also open our browsers, type in Dropbox, go to the Dropbox website. Um, you will have to sign in or create a free account if you don't already have one. Um, click the upload button, select files or folders depending on what you want to upload. Choose your file, say open, choose the folder where you want it to upload into, press upload, it'll show you down below when it's been completed and what you can then do is click on the share button to share the files, you can type in the email address or it'll save it as well you can enter an optional message if you want and then just click share it will also show you that it's been sent and 
that is it for artwork input, housekeeping and sending artwork. <laughs>